It's kind of interesting to just see the world not through my own eyes, but to see the world through, I guess, the eyes of a machine. It's a documentary project capturing a single person household. Right now the way we work is we, we 3D scan these spaces and create this kind of capsule. Um, that's, it kind of looks like, a, like an organism and it's the person in their space, so it's a portrait uh, of this moment in time. And this building has been around, I think this building was like, uh, it was a furnished furnish room in the 1940s too. This building has history. There's another layer of collaboration where we're actually interacting with the technology because it's the technology that's kind of enabling us to, you know, it's the medium. It, it, it enables how we can tell this story. And so there's all these glitches and artifacts that become so much a part of how this reality is being interpreted and what the output looks like. The reason it looks this way is there's a process called making it watertight, so which is a name that I totally love and it's like um, just closing the mesh up so it can be printed and it's at first I, I really didn't like it because it, it adds all these kind of um, elements that were not in the original room so all these colors are kind of algorithmically added and all these shapes are just you know calculated based on the on the interior shape but there was something about it that was so lovely and I just love how it made it look like a shell or like an organic creature it's like a time capsule, it's like a um, little snapshot of a moment in somebody's life, um, in somebody's existence.